Alpha Blackburn has left an indelible mark on the city of Indianapolis. Her life and work continue to impact thousands of lives around the world. I have to tell you, my family spoiled me. I was the last of eight and adored by my older sisters and brothers. I think that having encouragement from them of my talents and abilities has been a wonderful blessing. Growing up with Alpha as a mom was fun. When I was a kid, I felt like Cinderella. Mom has always been a fashion designer. When the time would get closer to a show, I would go to sleep and then I would wake up in the morning and there would be beautiful clothes just hanging all over the house. My first awareness of Alpha was back sometime in the 70s when Alpha was on television and a very well known, but not just for her television career, but known as a clothing designer and a person who was a significant player in the Indianapolis community. She's always been a celebrity around town, but at home she was just mom. And when mom got on the talk show as a host, we got to be on the show as kids when we were little, when they would have children on for Christmas show. And we'd be with uh, Janie and Cowboy Bob. Along with raising three children with Walter, hosting a local television talk show for nine years, being the fashion editor at Indianapolis Monthly Magazine for 10 years, designing her own line of clothing, and providing decades of leadership on the Indiana Civil Rights Commission, Alpha and Walter also managed to build a successful architectural design firm. Alpha brings in an, an, an artist's eye for detail. And she sees things that I, I would imagine others in a boardroom may not see because her eye is tuned to look at detail. There actually is a, a, a place in Indianapolis that I suspect people aren't aware of uh, Alpha's of footprint. The Blackburn Architects firm had a very significant role in helping design what we now know as the Arts Garden. Alpha was a significant player in that. After the passing of her husband, Walter, Alpha continued the work of Blackburn Architects on projects like the Eskenazi Hospital and the new Indianapolis International Airport. She's always tried to inspire and she's always just been an artist with vision. It is a gift of Alpha's and, and was a gift of Walter to really push the apprentices, which I was um, under Walter, to think about what that space could be. I met Alpha Blackburn about 20 years ago. We formed a search committee to find uh, an architect. Walter went through uh, his spiel and very interesting, uh, but all of a sudden this woman stood up and said, let me tell you why the Freedom Center is so important. And it was amazing because here was a woman who connected the history and identified personally with enslaved people escaping to a safe house, which she described as the, this beacon, and everyone had tears. The Freedom Center represents to me, how can I influence the world? It provided an opportunity for Walter and me to see a message that would far outlast our lives. When I think about Alpha, I guess the first word that comes to mind is perseverance. I think anybody who's ever tried to say no to Alpha when she was looking for help or support or trying to get something done learned that Alpha wasn't going to go away easily. I can't think of anyone more deserving of the award uh, than Alpha Blackburn. She's dedicated her entire career to serving Indiana and Indianapolis, but more so in the context of her just being a philanthropic soul. Congratulations, Grand, on being inducted into the JA Hall of Fame. We love you.